The authentication system of Superbase is working with a GWT that gives us an access token and a refresh token. And in this video, we are going to talk about those sessions and how to use those tokens to retrieve a session, to get a session, and of course, to set a new session. Let's try to get our current session right now and let's look at how it looks like. If you remember well, in our app folder, actually it's on our source folder, we got here a function called hoth get session. So I'm going to copy paste this function. I'm going to go to my page and remember on our page we got nothing. I'm still on the client side, but it's going to be the same if you are on SSR. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call Superbase again here here, the lib, there we go. And I'm going to try actually to put that into a function. Let's call it a get session. Would be really simple to do here. We're gonna have this, there we go. And we are going to console log the session. We would like to trigger this every time we arrive on the app. So here is just to show you, I'm going to call get session when, when the app is going to get launched. So here I can wrap this here inside and we should be good. So I got my get session. So I'm going to come back here to my application. I'm going to open my console. I'm going to go directly here. I'm going to load again and look at this. I got a big object and I would like to take a look quickly at this big object because first in this object, in this session, we got the access token, which is actually a GWT token. If you don't know authentication with GWT, I recommend you to go to watch some videos. We've got an expires in and we've got a refresh token and the token type, which is the beer. We've got the current user and this is probably interesting for you if you want to show which user is logged in through his email. So when you use Superbase auth get session with the session inside the session, you get the access token, the refresh token and the user. Me, I would like to focus quickly on the access token and on the refresh token. So what I'm going to do at first here, I'm going to copy paste this token and we are going to go on a website to decode this token and take a look at it. If I go on gwt.io, I can go here and I can try to decode actually the token provided by Superbase, which helped me to deal with my session. So take a look at this quickly. Here, we've got some information that helped us to decode the um, uh, token. Actually, to code the token, it will be exactly the same. And this information that we get here, we don't find it here inside the get session we've got. We've got something different. Actually, all this information is stored inside this GWT token. This is a way to crypt actually to secure our session login. And we can see down here that we've got a session ID. And when we look at it, it looks actually like a UUID. And we often find UUIDs in Superbase. So we see here that our session is unique. It's based on our email and it's based here on an ID. And if I go back to my authentication system, we can probably see that the ID beginning by 21CB, the sub here ID, is actually looking exactly like this one, which is the ID that I find here as a user UID directly on my authentication board. Okay, so I got here the access token, I got the refresh token, and if I go to application here, and if I go first to local storage, let's look at it, there is nothing. If I go to session storage, there is nothing. But if I go to localhost, the cookies where I was at first, we've got this super base, blah, blah, blah. And here I recognize the ID actually of my project, HYCC, etc., etc., that I got here on the top, if you want to look at it. So super base, blah, 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 auth token. And look at this, what do we got? We've got here actually the same token that is stored. So if I remove here, if I clear, if I remove the token, I refresh my application, suddenly I'm logged out. Why? Because here I remove the token that Superbase has the SDK locally, get when we log in. So I will need to log in again. Here I just put my credential. And if I click on a login, what's going to happen here? We see that we've got again, the cookie that has been set, so my session. And here we can see that I got the get session that returned to me 
some information, exactly the information that we saw. Superbase is providing to us an host system based on user session. What is a session? A session, it's simply like a time frame um, where we get access to an application through a token. The token, that's what we saw here, okay? This is this long piece of string, which is encrypted with an algorithm and token type here with, with um, a process. And then we've got a payload data that is down here. We can do the process, the opposite process, of course. And actually the token of Superbase here that we receive and that is set automatically, it has the form of a GWT, a JSON web token. And we also got the refresh token that we use to refresh the session because your token here is going to last really short and Superbase has a system to refresh automatically the token. So this is a basic question that people ask. What is recommended uh, as a token expiration? Because we can check, we can change directly into Superbase the time when this token is available. To do so, I can go to authentication here and I can go down and we can see that we got other um, features that we can use, such as the minimum password length. We've got here the user session and we can enforce single session per user. If I go more down, we can see here that we've got our here access GWT. And we see here that we can set up the time in seconds when our access token will be available to be used. So here we can see that the recommendation is one hour. So the best would be to let it like this to 3600 seconds. And then it will um, give you the opportunity to refresh the token automatically by checking here this switch, detect and revoke potentially compromised refresh token. It will help you to actually prevent if there is a compromised refresh token. If you want to continue to learn about the session and the token, you can go on the Superbase doc. And we've got here a very interesting question, which is what are the benefits of using access and refresh token instead of traditional session? We've got a big explanation, which is very interesting. I let you go to read it. Me, I'm going to pass to all the methods that help us to get the session, set the session, etc., etc. So how to retrieve a session, but actually what we can use also is other method. We can use actually the method to refresh the session. So if I want to refresh the session, I can simply here just switch. What I can type here is to use refresh session if there is a problem at a certain point. So here I'm just going to keep that and copy paste the function. So you will have everything inside the repository. I will have refresh session, which will be simply here, refresh session to refresh the session. And we can at the end return the new session that we got here and same here, return the session here. Also, what we can do is to set the session data. And probably you will have this issue if you work with the authentication system and if you change everything that I show you. Probably you will need to set the new session again. And to do so, what you can do is that when you got a session, you got, remember, the um, uh, access token and the refresh token. And for some reason, if it doesn't work to set the session, you could have a new function here that would be async. And what you would do here is to use the set session. So I can just copy paste here everything that is here. And I could return here true, for instance. And instead of having refresh session, we would have simply the set session function. So I call them the same name in order for you to uh, understand that actually it's this function. OK, so here I have an object and I'm supposed to receive here the access token and the refresh token. So I can put here access token as a string and refresh token as a string also. Okay, so we would have both of them. And we would pass the access token and the refresh token. What this function is going to do, it's going to actually set here the token directly inside your storage. So for some reason, if you don't get the cookie, if you don't get anything, if you use this function, it will set the session for you.
So let's try, let's say that here we're gonna have a get session. So what we would like to do is just to set the session again. Here we would get here the session and then we would deconstruct here from the session. So I'm going to get back after with the access token and the refresh token. Here, refresh token. I would get my session that I would be set in here. So instead of doing that, what I can simply do here is to deconstruct here on the top my session with my access token. So I got my access token and my refresh token. And just after, what I can do is to use the set session function. Await set session with the access token and refresh token. And we should be good. Here we saw that we need to set up session in order to be authenticated and to use Superbase. And of course, they thought about everything because in the SDK, we got all the function to retrieve a session, to refresh a session, and to set a new session. 